Hey, Vinyl Community Mark here again from Sound Masters talking all things vinyl. As always, we're going back to basics once again here at the channel. We're talking about how to handle vinyl records correctly, which for some of you, granted, is going to seem a little on the basic side, but there's a lot of new people in the hobby, and I'm sure you know somebody who could benefit from this advice. And stick around till the end because I've got a little bit of a hack that one of my subscribers mentioned to me that's really useful for people who are less confident handling records safely. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Above all else, there is one rule you must follow when handling vinyl records. Always avoid touching the record's playing surface. Instead, handle your records by the edges and the label. This way, we will prevent dirt and oils from transferring to the record surface and tainting those record grooves. So as clean as you may think your hands are, do avoid touching the surface to prevent those pops and clicks over time. Step by step, here's how it's done. Remove the record jacket from the outer record sleeve. This is a VSS outer record sleeve, a single pocket version that they produce. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Carefully remove the record, still in its inner sleeve of course, from the outer record jacket. That's the album artwork of course. Next, gently place your fingers into the inner sleeve. Use your thumb to grip the edge of the record and then being careful not to touch the playing surface, gently place your fingers on the record label. When you're confident that the record is securely in your hand, begin slowly putting it out of the inner sleeve. Resist the temptation to simply use two fingers, grabbing the edge of the record and putting it out the lazy way. The trouble is with this lazy method is that we end up getting our greasy fingers on the running groove, which is the very start of your record, of course, and this adds noise over time. Continuing to handle only the outer edge and the label of your record, you can use both hands to place your vinyl record on the turntable. Sometimes I find with records that have a tight spindle center hole, they benefit from a light push on the label to ensure that we have full contact with the turntable or record player platter. Since this guide is focused on how to hold a vinyl record and handle it correctly, I will leave the mechanics of how to play a record aside, as this may vary depending on the kind of turntable or record player that you have. What I will say though, is we want to avoid the buildup of dust over time, and a carbon fiber record brush is your friend here. Use it before you play a record and after you've finished each side. I highly recommend the carbon fiber record brush model by AudioQuest, which I'll link in the description as always. There'll also be a link to a guide explaining how I recommend that you use one of these brushes. Once you're done playing a record, it's best to return it to its sleeve as soon as possible. The more you can minimize exposure to airborne dust, the fewer problems you'll have with pops and clicks further down the line. The golden rule of how to handle a vinyl record still applies, of course, always by the edges and label and never by the grooves or playing surface. Placing your record back into a sleeve is essentially just the reverse process of putting it out. However, resist the temptation to simply let it drop into the sleeve, as this may damage the sleeve and potentially scuff your record in the process. Lastly, place the record back into the outer jacket, and then place the said jacket into an outer record sleeve. It's best to insert the inner sleeve facing upwards so that the record can't accidentally slide out. Always remember to store your records vertically in a record storage cabinet and avoid stacking them in horizontal piles as this can lead to warping of your records over time. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said stick to the end because there'll be a really great hack for those who are less confident handling records safely? Well, this is it. Check it out. Hudson Hi-Fi make these record mitts that are anti-static and made from a microfiber towel material, so they're really soft and safe on the records as well. These, I think, are really great for potentially younger listeners, less confident. Maybe even you want to get some of your kids involved. I know that sounds... You know, it's not everyone's going to be comfortable with that, but perhaps you want to get people more involved. It should be a social thing, you know, particularly if you've got a living room hi-fi set up. Or maybe you're getting older, perhaps your hands are less steady. This can help in that situation as well. Or perhaps maybe even you've got smaller hands. I think this just helps make the record collecting hobby a little bit more inclusive to those who perhaps are just a little bit less confident for whatever reason. These were recommended to me by one of my subscribers, Wayne, when I did a written version of this piece. said that he used 
uses them for getting his kids involved. Another person said, these are great. I use them because I've got smaller hands. There was lots of different reasons why people would use these, but you can see it's just an option out there. So check the description of this video where there's a link to these and you can see them in your own time. So I hope you found this useful and perhaps maybe it's useful for somebody else in your life that you could pass on to, share this video around to somebody who you think could benefit from this information. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so very easily by checking out the description of the video where there are a whole bunch of discount codes from our sponsors and partners so you can get money off vinyl gear to feed your vinyl habit. And that's at no extra cost to you. So I get a small extra little bit of a commission which helps me produce this content and run my website, yoursoundmatters.com, and I appreciate your support. But if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to drop your comments and questions down in the comment section as always. And until that next video, keep spinning.